Hello student, this is lecture 40 based on 50 unit for the subject VLSI design. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss about this reduction of switched capacitance. Okay, as we know, if you are going to reduce your capacitance, we can also reduce the your power consumption part. Okay, so that's why we are going to discuss about this switched capacitance. Okay, so let's talk about this switched capacitance. Okay, so the amount of switched capacitance plays a significant role in the dynamic power dissipation of the circuit. Okay, so hence the reduction of this parasitic capacitance is a major goal of low power design of digital integrated circuits. Okay, <coughs> sorry. So, we can reduce this switched capacitance at the system level, circuit level and mask level. Okay. So, if I talk about the at the system level. So, system level you can see over here one approach to reduce the switched capacitance is to limit the use of the shared resources. Okay. So, here uh, example is taken over here ok. The example you can see over here using a single global bus structure for connecting a large number of modules on a chip result in a large bus capacitance and large dynamic power dissipation ok. So, if you have <coughs> one only one bus over here and this bus is connected a large number of module ok. You can see over here these are the module and these are the components ok all are connected this a single bus ok. So, in that case your capacitance is high ok. So, what is the other option we have available rather than using a single bus we can use the a different two buses over here ok and these buses are connected with the this bus interface ok and reduce the number of your directly connected module with this bus ok. So, you can see over here a simple example of the use of the global bus structure for the data transmission between a large number of operational module ok. If a single uh, shared bus is connected to all the module as seen is this figure ok as we have discussed these structure results in a large bus capacitance due to two factor. First one is the large number of drivers and receivers sharing the same transition medium and the other one is the parasitic capacitance of the long bus line ok. So, we can reduce this by using this structure clear. <coughs> if I talk about the at the circuit level ok. So, at the circuit level means when you are going to design your circuit with the help of this CMOS technology. So, uh, for this rather than using the CMOS technology you can use this pass transistor logic ok. So, this is the another approach to reduce your switched capacitance ok. So, obviously, if you are going to reduce ok if I talk about this circuit level if you are going to reduce your number of transistor ok. So, directly you can means ok. So, if you are going to reduce the number of transistor obviously you are going to reduce your delay power and area also ok. So, also you can reduce your the power 
okay so pass transistor logic is another method okay rather than using your cmos technology okay uh, and uh, you are only focus about how you are going to reduce this power consumption so you can use this power transistor logics over there okay <coughs> and also this other another method is threshold voltage drop through the and this and mos and p mos logic okay anyway at the mask level if i talk about the mask level so the amount of parasitic capacitance that is switched that is charge up and charge down okay when your load capacitor is going to charge and discharge during operation can be also reduce at the physical design level or you can say or the mask level okay so the parasitic gate diffusion capacitance of mos mos transistor in the circuit typically constitute as significant amount of the total capacitance in a combination logic circuit <coughs> hence a simple mask level measure to reduce the power dissipation is keeping the transistor at minimum dimension whenever possible and feasible thereby minimizing the parasitic capacitance okay so you are going to reduce the your size of the transistor okay at the mask level clear so when you are going to reduce your um, size of the transistor means you are going to reduce your the capacitance pulse also okay sorry <clears throat> so in this way you can reduce your switched capacitance and you can reduce the your power consumption so this is all about the your <coughs> how to reduce this switched capacitance okay so thank you students